identified as we're learning more about red flags and the shooter's troubled past. A just released police report details Highland Park Police's interaction with the shooter in September 2019. It says Robert stated that he was going to kill everyone and a redacted name was afraid to go home due to the nature of this threat and had a collection of knives in his bedroom. Sir, the shooter passed four background checks despite these reports of an attempted suicide and the fact that he said he wanted to kill everyone uh, and had this knife collection. How is that possible in a state with some of the strictest gun laws and how frustrating is that for you? So a couple things. Uh, I made these comments yesterday that I think we need to increase our awareness about the, the red flag law. We can certainly get you the details of that red flag law. And when it comes to that 2019 incident, law enforcement says because the shooter's family did not press charges or file the paperwork for the red flag law, he was still able to buy those five guns. Mitch.